we welcome you to the walk and talk session by southeast asia region we want to be the change ourselves so that we can achieve the goal of health for billions we will begin the session with welcome address from the regional director dr poonam khetrapal singh it is a pleasure to join you in this innovative walk the talk event regular and appropriate physical activity is one of the most powerful ways to promote good health and well-being whatever a person's age or health condition when we move we enhance blood and oxygen flows helping to avoid non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular diseases and stroke we burn the energy in our food helping to control weight and prevent other ncds such as diabetes and hypertension and we help keep our minds clear physical activity is a proven mood mood lifter and an important tool for managing anxiety and depression who is committed to promoting physical activity in the southeast asia region which is especially needed in these unprecedented times as we stay healthy at home and battle covid-19 the region has in recent years made considerable progress in promoting physical activity including through each country's national ncd action plan and who's healthy cities initiative often the most significant changes come from a simple tweak in the environment or an innovative idea that can be implemented and rolled out to scale the most powerful interventions are inexpensive inclusive and culturally appropriate i am glad that the 73rd world health assembly is an active event not only for delegates but for all people across the southeast asia region and indeed the world in the next 45 minutes you will experience many best practices from countries in our region that will help you to keep fit and healthy our program starts with light yoga exercises i do hope it gets you in the spirit to celebrate the international day of yoga which we will mark next month on the 21st of june we will then move the beat up with 15 minutes of active aerobic exercises from indonesia bangladesh thailand and myanmar i encourage you to get the whole family involved and to make it a social event after cooling down the next session is on food safety throughout the pandemic and beyond we will end with a few tips on how to stay healthy at home i do hope you enjoy our program and thank you for walking the talk with us to protect and promote the physical and mental health of all people in these challenging times a yoga practitioner should follow the guiding principles of yogic practices before practice yogic practices should be performed in a calm and quiet atmosphere with relaxed body and mind it should be done on an empty stomach or light stomach consume a small amount of honey in lukewarm water if you feel weak light and comfortable cotton clothes are preferred to facilitate easy movements of the body in case of chronic diseases or pains or cardiac problems a physician or a yoga therapist should be consulted prior to performing yogic practices during practices practice sessions should start with a prayer or invocation as it creates a conducive environment to relax the mind yogic practices should be performed slowly in a relaxed manner with awareness of the body and breath do not hold the body tightly or jerk the body perform the practices according to your own capacity and the session with deep silence 
और शांति पाठ फूड एंड बाथ मे बी टेकन ओनली ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट्स आफ्टर द प्रैक्टिस वंस प्रिपेयर्ड स्टेप इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ योग विद माइंडफुलनेस एंड अवेल द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ दिस सेंचुरीज ओल्ड विस्टम लेटस एंटर इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ योग लेट एस स्टार्ट योग साधना विद योगिक सूक्ष्म व्यायाम और लूजनिंग प्रैक्टिस टू इंक्रीज माइक्रो सर्क्यूलेशन नेक मूवमेंट्स फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड नेक बेंडिंग कॉशन अवॉइड दिस प्रैक्टिस इन केस ऑफ सिवियर सर्वाइकल स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस स्टार्ट विद अलर्ट पॉस्चर समस्थिति स्टैंड विद द फीट Two to three inches apart. Keep the hands on the waist. While exhaling, move the head forward slowly, and try to touch the chest with the chin. While inhaling, move the head backwards in a comfortable way. This is one round. Repeat one more round. right and left neck bending caution do not over strain during practice while exhaling bend the head slowly to the right experience stretching on the left side while inhaling bring the head to the center position while exhaling bend the head to the left side experience stretching on the right side inhale and bring the head to the center position this is one round repeat one more round right and left neck twisting caution do not give jerk to the neck keep the head straight while exhaling gently turn the head to the right so that the chin is in line with the shoulder while inhaling bring the head to the center position while exhaling turn the head to the left feel or experience stretching on the right side inhale and bring the head to the center position This is one round. Repeat one more round. Neck rotation. Caution. People with neck pain and cervical spondylosis do this practice carefully. Exhale. Bend the head forward. trying to touch the chest with the chin inhale slowly rotate the head clockwise in a circular motion exhale while coming down this is one round repeat one more round then rotate the head in an anti clockwise direction inhale go back exhale and come down this is one round repeat one more round relax shoulder movements shoulders and arms movement caution frozen shoulder patients do this practice carefully start with alert posture samasthiti keep the fingers together pointing downwards while inhaling move both the arms from side above the head 
with the palm facing outward. Exhale and bring them down. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Shoulder rotation. Stand straight. Inhale and raise both the arms up to shoulder level and bend them in from the elbows. Place the fingers on the respective shoulders. Try to touch the elbows in front of the chest. Rotate both the elbows and shoulders in a circular manner. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Do the same in reverse manner two times. Inhale while raising the arms and exhale while bringing them down. Bring the arms down and relax. Trunk movement. Trunk twisting. Caution! In case of vertebral disorders, do this practice under the guidance. Starting from the alert posture, raise both the arms up to the chest level, keeping the palms facing each other and the arms parallel to each other. Keep the feet about one foot apart. While exhaling, twist the body towards the right side. Come back with inhalation. While exhaling, rotate the trunk and spine towards the left side. Come back with inhalation. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Slowly return the arms with exhalation and feet together. Relax. Knee movement. Caution. In case of arthritis and obesity, do this practice carefully. Start in alert posture. Then keep the feet one foot apart. Inhale. Move your arms up to the shoulder level from the front, palms facing downwards. Exhale, bend the knees and bring down your body to the half squatting position. In the final position, both the arms and thighs should remain parallel to the ground. Come back with inhalation. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Slowly return the arms with exhalation and bring the feet together. Relax. Now let us move towards Yogasan. Standing postures. Tadasan or the palm tree posture. Caution. Avoid lifting the heels in case of arthritis varicose veins and vertigo. Starting from alert posture, assume standing position. Keep your feet two inches apart. Inhale. Lift your arms up to the shoulder level from the front. Interlock the fingers. Exhale. Turn the palms outward. Now, inhale. Stretch the arms over your head. Raise the heels off the floor and balance on the toes. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Bring the heels down. Release the interlock of the fingers. 
exhale bring the arms down by the sides and come back to starting posture vrikshasan or the tree posture caution avoid this practice in case of arthritis vertigo and obesity starting from alert posture focus on a point in front exhale move the right leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the left thigh the heel should be touching the perineum inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms together in namaskar mudra maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness exhale bring the arms down release the right leg and bring it to the starting position repeat on the other side exhale move the left leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the right thigh the heel should be touching the perineum inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms together in namaskar mudra maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness exhale bring the arms down release the left leg and bring it to the starting position pad hastasan or the hands to the feet posture caution please avoid this practice in case of cardiac spinal disorders and glaucoma from the starting posture assume standing position with feet 2 inches apart inhale slowly and raise the arms upwards from the front stretch up the body from the waist exhale and bend forward at the level of hip joints until both the palms rest fully on the ground stretch the back to make it as straight as possible maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness now inhale come up slowly to the upright position and stretch the arms above the head exhale slowly bring down the arms and return to the starting position ardha chakrasan or the half wheel posture caution avoid this posture in case of vertigo and in cardiac problems starting from alert posture stand with feet 2 inches apart support the back at the sides of the waist with the fingers try to keep the elbows parallel to each other drop the head backwards stretching the front side of the neck as you exhale bend backwards from the lumbar region maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness inhale and slowly come up and return to the starting position relax trikonasan or the triangle posture caution avoid this posture in case of slipped disc sciatica and after abdominal surgery from the alert posture spread out the feet 3 feet apart inhale raise both the arms from the side up to the shoulder level and palms facing outwards turn the right foot towards right side exhale slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand just behind the right foot the left arm is straight in line 
with the right arm. Turn your head and gaze at the tip of the left middle finger. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale. Slowly come up and bring the right foot back. Repeat on the other side. Turn the left foot towards left side. Exhale. Slowly bend to the left side and place the left hand just behind the left foot. Turn your head and gaze at the tip of the right middle finger. The right arm is straight in line of the left arm. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale. Slowly come up. And bring the left foot back. Exhale. Bring the arms down and feet together. Come to the starting position and relax. Sitting postures. Bhadrasan or the firm posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of severe arthritis and sciatica. Start with Vishramasan. Support the back with the hands. Both legs stretched forward. Body should be relaxed in long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Keep the hands beside the hips and palms resting on the floor. Now, bring the soles of your feet together. Exhale and clasp the toes with the hands. Inhale. Put your heels as close as possible up to the perineum region. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Release the hands and stretch out the legs in the front. Relax. Vajrasan or Diamond Posture Caution. Those who are suffering from knee pain and ankle injury should avoid this practice. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Palms resting on the ground. Fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Place both the feet in such a way so that the big toes touch each other. Position of the buttocks is in the space between the heels and feet. Keep hands on respective knees. Keep the back straight. Gaze in front or close the eyes. When returning to the starting position, bend a little towards right side to take out your left leg and extend it. Similarly, extend your right leg and return to the starting position. Ardh Ushtrasan or Half Camel Posture Caution! In case of hernia, abdominal injuries, arthritis and vertigo, please avoid doing this asan. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Kapal Bhati Caution! Avoid this practice in case of cardiac conditions, epilepsy, hernia, gastric ulcers and during menstrual cycle. Sit in any comfortable position. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Inhale deeply through both the nostrils till you start experiencing fullness of the pelvic space and the chest expands. Expel the breath 
with forceful contractions of the lower abdominal muscles and let the inhalation be passive. Let us begin the first round of Kapal Bhati with 20 strokes. Exhale deeply and relax. This is one round of Kapal Bhati. Repeat two more rounds with 20 strokes each. Pranayam Nadi Shodhan Pranayam or the alternate nostril breathing. Start with sitting in any comfortable posture. Breath should be slow, steady and controlled. Keep the spine and the head straight with eyes closed. Relax the body with few deep breaths. Keep the left palm on the left knee in Jnana Mudra and right hand should be in pranayam mudra with the middle and the index fingers folded like this. Close the right nostril with the thumb and practice exhalation. Now inhale through left nostril. Recognize the touch of air moving through your body as prana. Close the left nostril with the ring and the little fingers and exhale through the right nostril. Now inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left nostril. This is one round of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Repeat it for four more rounds. A video on fitness practices embraced by Honorable Health Minister of India. Stay home, stay healthy. Let's be active and follow these simple exercises from Indonesia, Bangladesh, Thailand and Myanmar. You the lapas. Atur nafas, ambil nafas dari hidung, buang dari mulut. Selamat perjalanan di Nami. Masuk perjalanan tadi.
Kejadian terakhir dari latihan kelima.
This is interview with Dr. Thaksafon Thamarangsi on food safety and COVID-19. Our first question is why food safety is important in the time of COVID-19. Thank you for your question. I think food safety is an issue of importance for life, but in particularly in the COVID-19 because it can create some panic. That's one myth that COVID-19 can transmit to food. So, but I want to clarify that there's no evidence, until now there's no evidence to show that COVID-19 can transmit to food on food packaging. Uh, the, the evidence is showing that coronavirus cannot multiply in a fruit and vegetable as well. And during this lockdown in many places, there's a trend to go to the home delivery of ready to eat food. That's create some concern. Although COVID-19 cannot transmit to food, but there's some many procedure from delivery, from payment, from close contact to delivery person that uh, should be of concern and we should practice um, your hygiene through. Thank you. Our next question is, what is the role of WHO in food safety? Thank you very much. Actually, the food safety is a shared responsibility of everyone. Like people say, this is true of from farm to fork. So everyone has responsibility and contribution to play in food safety from the farmer, from raw material, from um, livestock, uh, sector up to manufacturer, cooking, delivery, and to the end user, everyone as a consumer. But I'm talking about the international level. The, the WHO World Health Organization collaborate with many other international agencies like Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, Food, World Food Program, the UFP, World Trade Organization, or World Organization of Animal Health, OIE to promote food safety to the global population. Our consumer range from policy maker up to individual consumer. We join hand to promote food safety to you. Thank you. My last question, um, is there any recommendation on how to promote food safety? Thank you. This is very critical and important question. Um, I would like to recommend five key points for ensuring safer food for you. One is maintain physical distancing, just like uh, this will become a new normal for everyone, including those other consumers if you go to a restaurant when it's, uh, the, lock up, the lockdown is open up, the, the food delivery, delivery persons. So please keep some distance. Secondly, as a general rule, Please continue practice a good hygiene. Safer food, cook food, you are a serving a spoon. Uh, the third one, now we from physical distance to hygiene. The third one, your hand. Very important, watching your hand. Every step of you know, when you the cooking food, when you manufacture food, and before and after you um, eating food. The fourth one will be uh, clean your food. And I say that uh, although it cannot multiply in fruit and vegetable, it can stay there. So before cooking or before consume fruit and vegetable, please clean it with safe water. And lastly, number five, if you order food, please try to select catchless option. So you don't have to uh, have any risks of um, contact with money and safe delivery, contactless delivery. Don't contact uh, by hand and make you close to um, deliver, deliver the person there. So this is five key points to promote your food safety. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thamarangsi, for this brief interview. Thanks a lot. Now let's see some tips on how to stay healthy and happy by tiny hearts, small leaves and walk the talk practiced by Timur Leste.
Finally, let's see posters and infographics on COVID-19 related to hand hygiene, workers' health, mental health, physical activity and NCDs. A big thank you to Moraji Desai, National Institute of Yoga, India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India, Ministry of Health, Indonesia, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Bangladesh, Department of Medical Services, Ministry of Public Health, Thailand, Myanmar Diabetes Association, Myanmar, Tiny Hearts, Small Leaves, and RWHO country offices for all their contribution as part of this Walk the Talk session.